Hello and welcome back. Right, in this one we actually going to pick up from where we um, last left off. So um, we we actually I just saw these um, slight issues. Now you wouldn't even notice. It's like if you're looking at it again, you know, we we want it we want this part here completely black and in there in there. Um, and probably in there, but that actually that part don't really matter because that part actually goes back up in there. But these other parts we want them black. So basically, what we're going to do is locate it. Um, and the other one, please be the <laughs> please be the one next to it. Be nice. Yes. Okay. N that's absolutely brilliant. So it's these two over here. So basically, Photoshop. And UV layout, uh, we put our, we enable our UV layout over here. Um, right, I'm actually going to clean some of this up. up. Um, minimize that for now. Um, okay, okay, it's just one thing I need to clean up. Get rid of the actually that layer isn't even enabled. Uh, okay, I'll just leave it. Um, but I'm going to make a new layer and make sure it's on the top. And I'm going to get the rectangle tool here, rectangle tool here, and let's bring this over and coat both of them. And I'm going to go to our paintbrush, and um, you know what? Actually, I can do a paint bucket, make this completely black, and fill it in like so. And now, when we save this out. Um, yeah, I made sure I saved a, um, a Photoshop just in case. Yeah, that's the point. Save um, your Photoshop um, thing, Majiggy, so far, so if it crashes or electric goes or power cut or what or anything, right? You got you got <laughs> backup. So make sure you got backup. Right, so it just saved it. So right. another thing with um, actually using that. Um, clone tool along the part up here actually worked and um, it got rid of that seam uh, the, the seam coming down here now is actually a do with the where the UVs are um, so the um, the part from here right to here is completely different or oh, no actually I'm wrong about that we got like a white line there so okay and on that side so is that meant to happen i don't know um but <laughs> there's white lines over there so maybe i just i have a look at that in photoshop but uh, i thought that was do the same but it isn't actually that important because it's going to go down in here anyway and you know most likely you're not going to look up at the gun from this angle and see it there so isn't a big problem and hypothetically if you have the same gun along the top you could just rotate it about so that's fine um, so let's bring in our new texture and uh, we forgot to turn off the thing <laughs> uh, UVs so yeah we probably should do that as well but while we're here I want to check this part out as well um, where is it it's on the UV um, so it's just like round part along there. Okay, we'll just add that as well to be black. Um, so this part here. And fill that black. And we're going to turn that off. And we just save this out again. Oh, why, why don't Photoshop want to remember when I want to save this PNG? It's irritating. Uh, yeah, it's not nice having these little black <laughs> uh, squares on your uh, like all right texture looking material thing, but um, yeah. Hang on. Well, 
Where, where's um, our, uh, our um, I. Did I really? All right. So I did. All right. I put layers in um the folder. So I'm going to bring these layers out, and I'm going to put them underneath the black layer we added. Okay. Cool. Now, that, that's a bit better. We'll save this out again. So. And go back to Blender. Refresh. Come on. Right. And probably want to find these areas. Probably want to find all that stuff in here as well. So hang on. So uh, I believe it's all that stuff. Nice, okay. Um, so, yes, so that's that in there. Um, we can just make that actually a bit darker. Photoshop. You know, actually, it looks a bit darker, and then it looks like okay. Just do a refresh. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. That looks a bit better, actually. Um, a lot better. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, we're going to darken that area up. So, turn on our UVs, and there's this area here. Hmm, okay, that's odd. Okay, well, I'm going to just do a rough. Um, I'm going to make another layer near our black layer. Probably getting a bit too messy in there, but you guys will really see, and I don't name anything at all. <laughs> uh, uh, so, yeah, uh, people will love, wo love working with me. Uh, they get a folder filled with... Um, Layer one, layer two, layer <laughs> all the way up to all the layers I have. Uh, no. But yeah, I do I do like naming the finished project product. So. That should actually look a little bit better. I like that. And we can hide a wireframe. Um. Okay, let's have a look at textures we got. Um, kind of want to add another texture in here. That make this as big as it can go. Okay, uh, are you not? Okay, cool. You're not in that layer. Let's merge this down. Let's cycle through them slightly and let's lower this down to like 20%, uh, 30%. I think 
let's watch that. Uh, uh huh. Um, I know what it is. No, I don't. Um, just enable that bottom layer and go and try and move that over. That helped a little. Um, I feel like it's. Um, the AO map. Just going to move this bottom layer over. I guess when well, when we merge that down, we can just fill that in. Um, just leave it. Um, I just save this out. Okay. Come on, wow. I'm going to make a copy of this texture. I'm on another monitor. Hang on, all right. Come on. Photoshop, come on. All right, I'm going to make a copy of this texture. Where is it? Yep, I'm going to make a copy of it. Uh, And we load that in. Okay, that darkened the whole thing up a little bit, but that's looking nice. I like that. Right. Um, so basically, now we got this. Um, we could actually go in and try and clean up the seams and all, all this up inside Photoshop, but you know what? I ain't that worried about, you know, I'm not, get, I, I don't like using um, this type of workflow because it's outdated and, you know, yeah, I, I prefer using Quixel. Um, so, basically, once we got this, we will go over, uh, the reason why I made a copy is just in case I break something and want to come back, but, you know, I've got the uh, Photoshop layer, so I don't know why I did that. Um, so, basically, Flatten image. Do okay. Okay. Now we got these issues around the edges that we should see if we can fix. I'm not sure if it actually a proper issue or if it's something else. I'm going to. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's a problem. But we're on top of it. We did get rid of these. Probably don't actually. Uh, it's only up there is having problems. Um, Okay, going to get rid of this one as well. Oh, okay, that's not one. Um, so basically what we're going to do now is, what is, um, hang on. Okay, so 1048, I believe. Um, oh, it's terrible with this. Um,
Yep, um, 2048. Okay, cool. 2048. Um, so I'm going to make our image smaller. So it should, in theory, add more detail. It should look a bit more cleaner. Um, image size um, 2048. Okay. And um, going to duplicate this layer quickly. I'm going to see it run through um, any of these layers here, actually help it pop. No, okay, delete that layer. I'm going to go into image address levels, maybe just play with these a little bit. I'm going to save this out and try this. You better save far so far smaller. There's nothing over here, so I don't know why you're having a problem. Alright, thank you. Alright, so I'm going to reload this. Oh, that looks. I, I, I love this. <laughs> I feel like it's looking a lot better. Um, shouldn't really love it because it um, <laughs> isn't PBR, but yeah. So yeah, that, that's the tra traditional way of um, texturing. Um, so if you like this, um, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you want to stay tuned for more tutorials, um, don't forget to sub. And got any questions, leave them below and I'll see if I can help. Um, next te texturing, I will be going over um, PBR, um, physically physically based rendering um, texture and system um, in um, Photoshop using Dedu, Quixel, Sweet um, a lot, it's a lot more quicker um, and you, the results are a lot better um, yeah and I think that's pretty much it so yeah thank you for watching until um, next time I'll catch you later happy modelling